Hello everyone, it is Nancy Taylor here. Welcome, welcome to today's workout. We are doing an arm upper body focus. We're working our shoulders, our chest, and our triceps. So these are your push muscles. And today's going to be amazing. It's going to be one minute on each exercise and we do have a longer rest time so you can fully recover and get back to working those arms. So let's get you warmed up and then we'll get right into the workout. How are you guys doing? Um, I had a 24 hour bug, whoa. My uh, clock's been going for days. It's like 851 minutes. Oh wow, okay. So, hamstring curl, hamstring curl. So we're gonna get your body warm. We'll, we'll do some dynamic exercises to get those arms warm, but for now we just wanna step and move it. So yesterday, I felt like Hercules. You know in Hercules when all of a sudden all his strength is taken away? <laughs> That's how I felt. It was just a 24 hour bug. It was so weird. I thought, is this food poisoning? Nauseous, sick, um, had like the chills, just had no strength. So my parents came to my rescue, step together, step, knee. They came and they took my kids. I was like, thank you. You literally like, I, I was in my bed and I said, Ava, you gotta watch Kai. Okay, that's my one year old and that's my almost seven year old. And she like took that responsibility like a boss. She took him outside, jumped on the tramp with him. I kept peeking out. You know how you like can't sleep or rest when you're still on mom duty even though you have no strength? Have you ever been sick and you're like, I just, I need to rest but I have to keep an eye on them. <laughs> That's how I was yesterday. So my parents came to my rescue. My kids slept over at their house. And so I literally woke up today and my energy was back. I was like, I am so grateful. Like I couldn't even go outside and clean up their toys. <laughs> couldn't clean up the house. I just had to rest all day. It was one of those, okay, I can surrender. I can do this, march in place or jog with me. Or if you're jogging today, you can either do the jog or the walking, totally up to you. So today we'll be using lighter weights. I just am really trying to be in tune with my body because I didn't eat very much food yesterday. I just know that, yes, I'm like, yeah, my energy's back, I'm ready to go. So excited. But you know those days when you're like, I'm so excited and then maybe you do a little bit too much. <laughs> it's pretty amazing that you can see results and see energy increase when you're doing less. Yes, there's such a thing as over-exercising. Huh, what do you know? <laughs> I most definitely have been guilty of that, the over-exerciser, <laughs> thinking that I always have to be sweating and glistening and like um, doing the workouts that are high cardio every single day and that's not always the case. It's beautiful to incorporate strength training. A lot this week we have specific muscle groups we're focusing on. This is week 11 out of 12 in our 12 week energy program. I cannot believe we are at week 11. It's pretty remarkable. I remember when I started filming workouts, I would kind of have a hard time um, just squat and reach up to the sky. Squat, reach up to the sky. I would have a pretty hard time getting 20 workouts. We're gonna go to Caterpillar Walk. Walk out those hands all the way down, punch left, punch right, walk them back. And I remember thinking, okay, I'm committed to 12 weeks. And at the time, I was having a hard time getting 20 workouts in like three months out. <laughs> and it was just a matter of shifting the expectation of, okay, the videos, I will film them every day that it will be my workout for the day. And it truly was just planning and preparing for that. Um, I've been coaching more and more women. I work with about, let's see, 22, five, seven, 27 women right now that I coach with nutrition and um, with their fitness goals. So I do it privately. If you're ever interested, it's in my link below. And I also coach for a company called Warrior Babe. And it's so fun, so fun. I'm loving what I'm doing. I'm learning so much, not only from other team members, from my own coaching clients, but just from everyone here as you're doing these free workouts. I hope that you have enjoyed this series. I have loved doing them, love creating them. What's to come here on NT Fitness? There's more to come. You'll see what's coming your way. Punch, punch. Okay, I'm gonna have you stay here down on the floor. We're gonna do a quick bird dog. So left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg. Whoa, was I'm tipping over. Right arm, left leg, right arm, left leg. Good, switchy switch. Okay, take it to 10 push-ups, And you're gonna see these again in the workout. I know, get them warmed up. 
Modification knees are on the floor. Now you want your elbows not to go straight out, slightly back, slightly back, see? Slightly back, so the angle is here, so my arm has a straight line. There's a straight line here. I don't know if it, it's kind of hard to see from that angle. Six, seven, what are we on? Eight, nine, 10, sure. Feels like that was 10, right? Interlock those fingers, open up the chest. Interlock those fingers. We're gonna take it to downward facing dog, get that body nice and stretched out, ready to go. Take a little walk, press shoulders down, walk those feet to your hands, reach all the way up, 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 up. Are your arms ready to go? Yep. We're ready. Just so you know the warm up, my goal is always to get you glistening, get your heart rate up, get your body warm, and also warm up the muscles that we'll be working in the workout. So grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna start with lighter. I have 12 pounds and 15 pounds. I'm gonna start with my 12 pounds and we're gonna start with shoulders first. Okay. Now you also do want a lighter weight, um, like an eight pound, 10 pound. We're sh starting with shoulder press. Arms are here. So it's one minute on. These are superset style. So what that means is we do two exercises before we get a rest. Um, a lot of times we'll do blocks and we'll get the rest right after the exercise. So today it's one minute shoulder press, then it's one minute of lateral raises. Now for lateral raises, we'll be alternating. You also, something to think about while you're doing these exercises, um, pulling your pelvic floor. So I'm gonna just show you. Keep, uh, keep shoulder pressing, you pull in here, hug here, so I exhale. So I have really good core strength here as I have the weights overhead. It's easy to let that core go, arch that back. We wanna make sure that we're here, connected. You always wanna connect before you go, okay? Keep going, you have 10 more seconds. Exhale as you press those arms up. Four, three, two, time. Lateral raise. I'm gonna grab my eight pounds for this, but you're lifting side and then lifting to the right side. Go right into it. If you start leaning or swinging, I want you to go with a lighter weight. All right. Now with each superset, so I raise one arm, it's single arm, and then the other. Now think about how slow, slow up on the con concentric, concentric, <laughs> and then slow down on the eccentric. I can't tell you like the difference of yesterday today. I wish you guys could see a picture. Like I looked like death. I was just in my bed. Um, and you know what it was from? It was one night I stayed up till 5 a.m. I was working on programming for, my, for those that I'm coaching and they needed their programs Monday morning. And so I, 60 second rest. If you're like, that's a long rest. Why do we wanna rest for a little bit longer? We want those shoulders to fully rest so they can come back and do the, the full range of motion. We'll be grabbing those 12 pounds so I had to get those workouts out. My husband was gone, so I couldn't work the day before I was with my kids. And then once I put them down to bed, I was working on their programs. <laughs> and it took me till 5 a.m. I was like, okay, it was a lesson learned. Number one, I need to better organize my time and make sure that I am getting up. Um, this three, two, one rule that came to my mind, like um, during a coaching call, and I probably shared it in a workout, was, okay, you're in your bed, you say three, two, one, and you get up. So I usually get up about six, 6 a.m. If I have a coaching call at seven, it'll be 6.30. But um, I'm having to move that up just a little bit to 5 a.m. so I can get a little bit more work done before the kids wake up. And it works out because I had to learn the hard way. I had to learn such the hard way. Oh man, it was just a beautiful learning opportunity for me, I guess, that you can't do it all and do it all well. You really have to simplify, focus on one or two things. And my big thing is I wanna be present for my kids, but I also wanna be like that joyful mom, that one that uh, I'm passionate about things and I am excited about them. And I've loved working with women on their health and wellness. And it's also, it can be dangerous because I might wanna do that more and more. So I really have to um, 
put a limit on time spent doing it so that I take care of my own health and I can fully take care of them. Is there something you also are feeling like, okay, I'm a little bit out of balance here. I need to balance a little bit more. Maybe there's a lot of time you dedicate to your kids. And you're like, I haven't put that same effort into myself. Maybe that's where you're at. Or maybe it is that um, you're feeling like, Ah, oh my gosh, that one is challenging for me. Time, one minute up, okay, lateral raises, alternating. Maybe you're feeling like you've lost a little bit of yourself or your identity with being a mother and <laughs> taking care of the kids. And so you're want, longing for that sense of worth or, okay, who am I outside of mom? <laughs> who am I? And maybe you want to develop a talent or learn a new skill. I love, 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 love learning. But it takes time and it takes discipline because it, a lot of times at the end of the day, you're just tired. <laughs> How do we increase our energy by taking care of ourselves, getting the sleep, getting the nutrients that fuel our workouts and nailing your workout each day? Five to six days a week, we wanna be working out for about 150 minutes a week is what's recommended. And the workout routines that I do are strength-based. We also have HIIT workouts and then Pilates for your core work and flexibility. It's a beautiful mix, one that I love, 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 and I hope you love it as well. Okay, you got a minute rest. Now, on this next one, if my form starts to slack, let's say I start to arch, or I start to like try and bend those knees to get the arms up, what I can do is alternate shoulder press one at a time. Why are we doing three sets in a row? To burn out those shoulders. We wanna burn them out, and with the back-to-back the -back exercises, you will see, oh, that is really burning. Okay, my shoulders are really burning. You don't have to have a gym pass to get, um, toned to get good strong muscles you can use dumbbells most definitely i think sometimes we feel like um, i have to go to the gym or I have to drive there you can do this in the comfort of your home or go outside let's go outside i was going to take you guys outside here's another funny story um, so my parents took the diaper bag with my cutie kids and it had my car keys in it because i was like i'll come get the kids i feel five thousand percent better today like i should have taken a video yesterday because I was, it was just like, I was struggling. I, and I FaceTimed my husband and saw myself. I was like, whoo, you're struggling there. I'm alternating so I can maintain form. Core is connected. Up, up. Good. Up, up. That's it. 40 seconds. Come on, let's burn out those shoulders. You can do this. Keep those weights going. 30 seconds, woo! If I start to slack on form, I'm gonna take a quick break and then get back to it. Woohoo! Ah, so let's not learn our lesson the hard way. Sometimes maybe it will be that we've gained weight or we feel like we've kind of let our habits slide and it's so easy to be mean to ourselves. It's so easy to say, you're lazy or you can't do that. It's just, it's, think about, would you talk to someone else that way? Would you call them lazy? Would you speak to them the way you speak to yourself? I really want you to catch yourself when that takes place and correct it. So there's two ways to look at every situation and it's the supportive or the not. I think of the Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> Remember his shoulder angels? He has one come up, there's his shoulder angel and the shoulder devil. And it's like, you definitely shouldn't do that. Yeah, I remember watching this show and just laughing because the shoulder angel's like, reason number two, look what I can do. And he does a handstand. <laughs> the devil's like, <laughs> or the cronk, that's who it is, cronk. It's like, what is it, wait, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> and the devil says, no, 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 he's got a point. <laughs> oh, you got to go watch that clip. It's so funny. I didn't do a very good job of retelling it. It's so funny. Woohoo! Three, two, one, time. High five, guys. You're down with shoulder block number one. We have three blocks. That's it. So, same format. We're moving into block number two. Let me check and make sure. Yep, we're on chest. So, it's chest press. I'm going to grab my heavier weights for this. You could be on a bench if you have a bench. It gives you larger range of motion. If you don't have one, don't worry. We have 40 seconds before we're going. Remember with this longer rest. We want to fully activate not only those muscles, but also our mind that's able to 
fully perform these exercises. Okay, feeling good? You still have 20 seconds, but you're gonna be here. Now, if I'm on a bench, or let's say that you have an exercise ball that you can put your shoulder blades on, my elbows can go deeper because they're not hitting the ground. But we're gonna press up and then control it down. Press up and then control it down. We're going in five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Chest press. Now, after this one, Working that chest, we're gonna to move to push-ups for one minute. So we are burning out that chest, focusing on one muscle group in each superset. Woo-hoo! You'll notice that we kind of mix up the routine, but we, are, we always use similar movements, and we're always targeting a mus like the entire body each week. That's what's so nice about following a program, is we program it in a way that you hit all the muscle groups within that week. So if you're like, ah, oh, I can't hit all muscle groups, or I didn't do a hip workout, or I missed a strength training, or I didn't do my flexibility, it's okay. It's so easy to beat ourselves up. Just show up the next day with the next workout that's in line. So then that makes sure that you hit all targeted groups. And you might start leaning towards one type of workout over another. Just try and balance it so you keep woo, that good system. Okay, down and up. You can come on up. We're doing a push-up, push-up, push-up. You can do them on your weights if you want. I'm gonna go on the floor for fuller range of motion and go right into it. Now I'm gonna start on my knees, down, and up, I'm doing tricep push-ups, but you can do regular, so I'm a little bit wider with a regular push-up, targeting more of the chest. Maybe I'm gonna sit here for a bit. 36 seconds to go. Good, remember, elbows don't go straight out, they go slightly back. Whew. I can see myself in the fireplace. <laughs> If you have a mirror, it's kind of nice to check your form. Um, <laughs> I laugh. I go to the gym. I'll go and do their exercise equipment. It's just a local gym. And <laughs> a lot of times it's like these high school kids, high school boys. <laughs> and I just crack up when I just catch them in the mirror. They feel so embarrassed when I catch them checking themselves out in the mirror. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I got that. I just saw you. I was like, want to be like, you looking good. <laughs> You know that age when you're in high school, you just care so much about looks. Um, it's just a beautiful full circle to be at mom. Like, <laughs> I think that we still kind of can start comparing. I want you to think about how much time you're spending on social media, if you're scrolling or online shopping. Um, there's two things I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, I'm listening to Rising Strong by Brene Brown. It's a, um, she writes a lot about shame and vulnerability and she was talking about this concept. I wanna hear what your thoughts are. And the thought was, or the concept was, everyone is doing their best. And she said her therapist told her that and she was angry. She's like, no, everyone's not doing their best. And she said, so she started to do some research on it. She's a researcher, researcher and storyteller. And okay, chess press. And she said, probably about half the people said, yeah, I, I think everyone is kind of doing their best. You don't know their circumstance. You don't know what's going on in their mind, their mental state. And the other ones were like, well, I know everyone's not doing their best because I'm not doing my best. <laughs> like, I know I could do better at this and this and this. And she noticed that those that said everyone's not doing their best kind of fall, fell into perfectionist personalities or they were... Um, like not on purpose, but they were kind of passing more judgment of others and also of themselves. And I thought that's so interesting if we accept this, the thought that everyone is doing the best they can with what they have, with the knowledge they have, with the resources they have, with the state of mind they're at, they're just doing the best they can. And I, it was so freeing to have that thought. You'll have to listen to her explain it. She does such a good job at explaining and showing like the, the, the how 
how her first initial thoughts were like, that's not true, and she was angry. And then she shows some stories that were like, yeah, that really solidified this concept of everyone's doing the best they can with what they have. And it's pretty freeing because then we're less judgmental of ourselves and others. We can observe without judgment. And another thing she said too is to set boundaries. This was the second concept I wanted to share with you guys, to set boundaries. She said the people that are more, most caring and compassionate are those that work hard, but they set boundaries. They set boundaries to protect their time and their energy and they're, they're vocal about it. So they'll let people know like, no, I can't do that. I have this responsibility. Or um, a lot of times because she said that she had said yes to something that she didn't want to do. And all of a sudden she held on to resentment and hate. She didn't have compassion. I thought that's so true. If we say yes to something and we don't have boundaries or we don't keep in check with those boundaries, we're going to fall into like resentment and hate because we didn't communicate our needs. We didn't communicate what our thoughts were. All right, are we still doing good guys? You got one minute. I'm just checking the, um, my microphone was low on battery. So I just want to make sure it's still working because I'm just chatting away. Okay, we have 30 seconds. This is our last set. So if you were able to go heavier or something else you can do is slower, more time under tension for those, for the, the muscles. Okay, we have 16 seconds. I'm just really getting ready for it. <laughs> 12 seconds, 11, 10. Now, if you don't have heavier dumbbells at home, you can, okay, I don't know if I've ever had these sent on Amazon. I got these at Target, but you can grab some new dumbbells or use what you have. Do you have milk jugs? Do you have like, once you're done with the milk at the house, fill it with water and use those. Like we don't have to spend money to build a home fitness journey. I use dumbbells, mini bands, and um, just a, an exercise mat. And I don't have to have all the equipment. I don't have to have a treadmill and I don't have to have I've seen so many times where those that I coach will buy all the equipment and then they'll state like, I haven't used it for years <laughs> or I had good intentions, but I haven't used it. And I would rather have you show up every day with what you have than go buy all the things and feel like that's what's gonna get you fit because it's not. All the things are not gonna get you fit. It is you. It is how you think about your body, yourself, how you wanna take care of yourself because it's the self-love. It's encouraging yourself. You love yourself. You want to show up as the best version of you and also model that for everyone around you. Okay, push-ups. Remember, I am modifying a little bit. If you're able to go on your toes, please do. Um, I'm just tr really trying to stay in tune with my strength today, um, mostly just because I was really down on calories yesterday. <laughs> I had no appetite. I really had no appetite. Usually I fuel my body with probably 2,000, quite a few calories, 2,000 calories a day if not a little bit more, and I don't always track them. I have tracked something that I've done is I'll track for a month or so and hit specific macronutrients. And then I pretty much understand like these, these foods are what fuel me, what allow me to feel my best, but it's very much intuitive. I love the transition to intuitive eating because it's like there's no, there's no limits, I can eat what I want, but it's not a diet, it's not this yo-yo dieting or this mindset that, oh, I did a weigh-in and I, I, was, I went down and now I'm gonna go eat whatever I want, or it's just the mindset is so clear on it's a lifestyle. We're showing up because it's a lifestyle. Okay, number three, triceps. So triceps are a smaller muscle as our shoulders. Our chest is larger, so that's why we wanted a bigger, heavier weight. We're starting with tricep kickbacks, and then we'll go to skull crushers. Okay, in 30 seconds we're going. You're gonna be here. So my, my upper arm hugs against my rib cage, and I kick back from my elbows. So I'm not swinging here. Watch here, here, okay? So I wanna make sure that I'm not swinging those arms. I'm really targeting the back of the arm. Okay, we have 15 seconds. I'm gonna rest for a hot second. <laughs> I'm just talking your ears off. Had a lot to, t had a lot to tell you this week, didn't I? Um, make sure you join our Facebook community. I do go live in there twice a month. 
and share a topic. So each month we have a new topic, just a fun community to have. Other women, a lot of moms, um, a lot of just women that are working towards their health goals. They join us here for workouts. Boom, and back, kick it back, and in, back, and in. That's it. Good. 28 seconds to go. Whoo, whoo, whoo. So the next month, so I, I break my videos up in like quarters. So in the fall and winter, I have some fun content coming your way. Super excited for it. I've wanted to film these videos and we'll be filming them, filming them after our 12 week program. So after you finish, you gotta send me like a celebration, send me how you feel. It's truly, I love, love, love it. So what I'm gonna do is grab one single weight for tricep um, skull crushers. You can do it in a standing position. You're gonna go straight into it, here and up. So elbows are forward and straight up. Straight up. You can hold two dumbbells if you want. I just wanna keep those hands really close together. I don't want my elbows flaring out. Try and keep them as in as I can. They are slightly pointing out, but I wanna keep them close. Woof, I'll show you from the front. So I don't want them like this, they're here. Ha ha, 20 seconds. 17, 16, 15 more seconds. And you'll notice you start to get a little sweaty in these strength training workouts because you're working hard. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Okay, you have one minute. We're gonna go back through that series two more times. So tricep kickbacks and then skull crushers. And then we have one burnout to finish up. If you notice, I have a chair here. She's gonna come in handy here in a minute. Don't you worry. I would love to hear below. Do you think everyone is doing their best? I would just love to hear your insight. Do you believe that everyone is doing their best? Because it was so cool to hear. Just She said that probably 50-50 people thought yes. Other people thought, no, I just can't get on board with that thought. I just don't think people are always doing their best. Um, and also you'll have to listen to Rising, Rising Strong by Brene Brown. She does a really good job of explaining it. Okay, I'm gonna do my kickbacks with my 15s. I'm feeling good. I'll be 30 seconds in like, okay. <laughs> I'll switch now. Five seconds, four, three, Two, when I'm gonna alternate, you can do both at the same time or alternate. If I have a heavier dumbbell, I'll usually focus on one arm so I can really think about the form as I'm doing it. Good. Core is connected. Keep that core connected, draw them from the pelvic floor, hug the transverse abdominals. It's easy to release that core while you're working a different muscle. So just being aware of it throughout the day, think of your posture. If you haven't joined our deep core program, um, all for after having babies, whether it was within the year, within the last 30 years, really doesn't matter. You can always improve your deep core. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I made it to the 20 second mark. 20 seconds more to go. I'm like, oh yeah, I feel it. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna do my um, skull crushers on the ground. You can still do them standing if you want. I'm gonna do them right here. Back, control that motion all the way up. I wanna feel those triceps just shaking, shaking in their boots. <laughs> Now with these push muscles, if you ever see workouts that say push pull, that's upper body. Um, your push muscles are your chest, your triceps, your shoulders. Your pull muscles are your back and your biceps. Boom. I remember seeing that all over. Thinking, How come everyone's doing these push pull workouts? I've always just called them upper body and then specifically put the the weight, the muscles that we're targeting. So I just thought maybe someone else out there is curious what those mean. 
Sometimes there'll be workout terms that like HIT has become a very popular term, high intensity interval training. Okay, you have one minute. Let's stretch out those triceps while we transition. So just scratch that back, push, push, push. Um, and, and another term too for the opposite end is LIST, low intensity steady state. So if you're doing one hit workout, I would say do one to two a week. Um, you could be doing three, that's awesome. It's going to complement your strength training. Um, hit workouts you can do for 30 minutes or less. The list, the low intensity steady state, that could be like a step goal that you have each day. Let's say you have a step goal for 10,000 steps a day. And, or let's say that on Saturdays you do a long run. You do like a 40 minute run, you do longer mileage. It's a steady state that you can maintain for a longer time period. And it's really interesting. I've been loving learning about the body and been loving learning about, I'm going to do the medium weights for tricep kickbacks. Last time through tricep kickbacks. So if I have my lighter weights, I usually like to do them together. Kick back. But when I, I used to always see on the treadmill, it would say you're in fat burn. And I'd be like, I'm walking so slow. I don't get it. I'm not running, but your body burns fat in that steady state. So if you are, sorry, I'm dusting. <laughs> That's gonna drive me crazy. So if I am hitting that step goal, let's say that I go for a walk with the kids, I've been doing an 8 p.m. walk with my kids. It's going to move nutrients through your body. So the fuel that you've been eating throughout the day. And it's also going to complement the strength training you're doing because it doesn't start um, if, if we do so much cardio or such high hit intervals, um, let's say you're doing them every day, go, go, going, sometimes you'll start to use your muscles for energy. So a lot of times people will be on a weight loss journey and they'll come to me and say, okay, now I want to get toned. I want to build that strength. I've lost all this weight, but my body's not where I wanted it to be. Okay, Try, er, skull crushers. And so then we'll work on strength training. And a lot of it is they're under eating, so such low calories that it started to use their muscles. Not only were they losing weight in, in fat, but also in their muscles. So that's just something to be aware of. Ooh, uh, we want to be eating to fuel our body, to feel good. Uh, sometimes if you're constantly dieting or cutting calories and then feel like you're not getting enough, so then we start binging, you'll just see this up and down pattern and, and feel discouraged or upset with your weight or where your body's at. After I have babies, I usually, I don't look at the scale for a year and I just focus on how I feel. I focus on hitting those workouts. I focus on um, good, wholesome nutrition, eating every two to four hours, eating a gallon to a gallon and a half of water. I'm working on my water today because I was way down yesterday. <laughs> I just couldn't keep anything down. So, um, you make sure that you're just living the lifestyle. It's not a quick fix. It's not, I wanna look great for this wedding and then it's whatever. It's for your whole life. You wanna have that for your whole life. Okay, we have our dips, dip, 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 dip. We're doing 50 of them. It's a quick burnout for those back of your arms. We're going dips, we're gonna do 50 of them. So you count yours. I'll count mine, maybe. <laughs> if my legs are further away from me, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. I love that I haven't vacuumed my carpet and these pants are like Velcro. They're like, oh, I'll pick it. I'll pick all that up for you. Who needs a vacuum when they have Velcro pants? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, love it. All the crummies coming my way. Eat. Okay, 10 down. If I scoot my feet a little bit closer, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Whew. Burn it out, 20. Yay, 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 30. I gotta take a quick break because my hands are falling asleep. <laughs> Anyone else have my circulation? It's wonderful. <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, if I raise my hands above my head for too long, they start falling asleep. Six, seven, whoo, 40. Whoa. Okay, chair. 
Ah, that was 50. Yay, yay, yay. This is what I brought the chair for. <laughs> then we could just chill, you know, talk about life. Talk about how we think, do we think everyone's doing their best? <laughs> I'm really excited to hear from you guys and see what you think. There's no right or wrong answer, by the way. It's like, what, whatever you think. Spend some time pondering on it. Okay, let's go ahead and inhale up. Let's stretch you out, exhale down, let that heart rate come down, inhale up. Now, if with on the strength training days, go for a walk today. Um, go be active with the kids, random acts of fitness, park further in the parking lot, reach to your right and come back down. Now we do have HIIT training in this week. I, tomorrow we are doing legs and we have um, some cardio burst. So we have a little bit of those HIIT hit sections in there. And then Wednesday, we're back to arms. We're gonna work those pull muscles, your back and your bicep. So this entire week, we'll be working every single muscle group. And then we'll have Pilates and our HIIT, our full on HIIT workout. That's a total body workout. So make sure you check out the playlist. These are all in order. I put them all in order. There's a total of 60 workouts in the entire playlist. It's 12 weeks. That means you work out five days a week for 12 weeks. Awesome, interlock those fingers, let them fall. Good. And reach for those toes. Walk those hands out. Let's go back to that downward facing dog. Knees come down, all the way down to child's pose. Thread the needle with that right arm through. You did it. Awesome job today. Go ahead and switch the other side. Strength training is a little bit of a different vibe. You'll notice that it's slow. If you're like, wait, I wanna do more, I wanna do more. I wanna encourage you to step into um, grabbing heavier weights, working on um, progressive overload on those muscles. And sometimes we actually need less. And this is something that I had to learn the hard way by um, not getting enough rest, <laughs> trying to do too much. Less oftentimes can enhance and help us a little bit more. Um, come to upward facing dog, stretch out that tummy, side to side. Good, go ahead and kneel. We're gonna do a mermaid pose. I always love this one. Reach right, then reach left. Reach right, then reach left. Other side. You actually have your legs to the side. I was like, this feels weird. Reach left, then reach right. Reach left, then reach right. So grateful for you. Grateful for my health and energy today. Wow, grateful that I get to sleep and be with my kids. I'm, I'm so excited to see them again today. Just 24 hours away from them and I'm so excited. I hope you guys check out tomorrow's workout. Let me know in the comments if you join me, how the workout went and I look forward to talking to you. Make sure you do thumbs up the video. It helps my channel out. Um, it helps me out each time you comment. Just anything where you can add an engagement, it helps me. So thank you so much. Bye guys.